I'm a theatre student. I'm the director for Project Pitch Black. Hi, I'm Annabelle and I'm a dance student and I'm the assistant director of Project Pitch Black. <laughs> Most of my inspiration came from my previous piece where I worked with another friend and what we did was we played with lights and we did movement. So um, once we came up with the narrative, I decided to put some theatrical elements into it. So basically that's, a, that's the basic storyline. And then I said, okay, in terms of the movement, maybe you could contribute to that with the dance aspect to work in complement with the lighting along with the theatrical aspect to it. Okay, let me just take the, this thing to like one main role, um, the mind. For the mind, um, Fiona wanted it to be a more... She's a recurring image of this entire production and she's basically someone that keeps haunting Ethan, the main character. And for me, I guess when I started choreographing the movements, I like my inspiration came from um, this production I watched called Swan Lake. It was a different version, but basically um, I took the same kind of idea on how the, the black song will keep reappearing. So yeah, I guess that's just how it fitted in the production itself. And, so initially, it was just experimentation. Yeah. The first two days of rehearsal, we were like, okay, we have screens, we have flats, we have torch lights, let's just create something. And initially, we created like hand puppets and stuff. <laughs> we were like, oh, that just doesn't work at all. Yeah. It just looks terrible. So one day, we had a friend who was just, just lingering behind the flat and she was holding a torch light. She was a little bit bored. After, we were like, wait, just stay there, just stay there. And we're like, oh. really nice image yeah, like, to capture. We were, we were, we were going to take yeah, that. Yeah. And then, so, I guess it all started from there. We all really liked that, that whole entire image of her shadow and, and her hand there because it gave a lot of um, impact and concentration on her body, on her entire body shape. So I think the visuals especially, it was more of the light as an as a aid to help us further um, accentuate our bodily features and how it could, how it could add extra um, layer to the entire choreography instead of just superficial movements. Hi, my name is Samuel. I play the saxophone and I'm the music representative for the production Pitch Black. For the music side, it wasn't really a one-sided composition where I would write everything out. How it worked is that um, for most parts of the scenes, they would show us as a music group what the scene was going to be. Then our directors would call for music to be played. When we started the rehearsals, it had to be a lot. It was really student-initiated. Like, um, I would go up to the music group and say, okay, let's, let's try this rhythm and anything else above that, take the initiative, try to improvise something above it. Because of time constraints and because we had to fit our music to the dance rather than the dance fitting to our music. So, um, Mr. Stromba and Mr. Ramu sat in for our rehearsals and Mr. Koto. Um, they would sit in and they would see how the music would fit with the dance and give suggestions on how the music would be changed. Mr. Stromba is actually our improvisation class teacher and he was, um, and he is also our composition teacher. So much of the composition's ideas and edits were made by, like, um, were suggested by him. I'm Timo, and I'm doing visual arts in SOTA, and um, I'm currently specialising in the media arts department for photography and videography. And for this, uh, in this production, I'm actually in charge of the animation and video aspect. And so, in the end, uh, what I discuss with the rest of the production team as well is uh, to come up with a visual that is simple enough so that you, the audience isn't distracted by the projection itself and focus more on the on the auditory sense. I guess I'll be I'll say that I'm more inspired by. Uh, making some sort of monstrous image in to fit the theme of the entire production because we are dealing with uh, like fantasy and mon monsters and stuff like that. To me, actually, I mean, working with different departments is definitely a new experience because I've always been working alone until this year, and yeah, it's it's interesting to to hear everyone's uh, different art forms, like the opinions, and everyone has something to give in terms of uh, contributing to uh, techniques or skills, and I guess I learned more about the art form as well, instead of being stuck on my computer.
Hi, I'm Grace. I'm from Visual Arts and I specialize in sculpture. Um, uh, being the sculpture student, I was in charge of um, making the backdrop and drilling out the screws on the wood. But, but then um, one day when we were rehearsing, our main character um, injured herself. So we had to swap around roles and they, they asked um, who, who wants to do the mind and, and I just volunteered because um, since this is an interdisciplinary production anyway, so might as well just try something new. The pressure is there but everyone is uh, basically just uh, sharing their knowledge from from dance, from music, from theatre and, and I, I think we really learned a lot from each other because being in our own art forms for six years we never really got 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 down and seriously um, collaborate a piece and you can you can see every single element of the art form being um, portrayed in the visuals and it's, it's just really amazing to immerse yourself in a separate art form well um, contributing your own art form. Uh, I think through this uh, production, I hope the audience will see this whole project as an IBCC journey as a collective. I guess in this, in our class, many of us have our own IBCC journeys and our stories to tell, but in this piece, it's just all about the whole class and how we go through this whole journey. Yeah. And I guess, you know, um, despite the fact that this piece is rather dark and it has a more negative or cynical approach, we also want to show that you know through these bad experiences there will always be great outcomes. So that's why we hope to present on stage. And also, you know, and how we need each other to support us as we go through these. And from coming from what we have all said, you know, it's really we're just it, it's just from a place of privilege that we are able to use all these different materials and different talents that we can have to just show every single person you know, our identity that we have forged as a collective.